Okay, um, I grabbed a sound effect for the laser. Um, I'm not going to bother trying to play it. It seems to take forever to open that program. But let's see. We need... What was I doing? Um, let's see. I was doing something. Oh, okay, laser stuff. So, um, when the laser has finished firing, sounds like a good time to call the sound effects. Sound effects, we'll do laser dot wave. Okay, and then we're gonna you know what, I need to turn this into a block if anyways. And I'm I'm just actually gonna leave those things all clumped together, just not gonna hurt anything. And then end if down here because we are going to make another bolt. Or make a bolt. We don't have any bolt yet, but you know, none of them exist. But here's what we're going to do. Um, we are going to... The, the easiest way to do it would just be to say bolts equals bolts plus one. Right? I mean, simple enough. If you have no bolts, now you have one and it fires. And if you have one and you want to make another one, it you have two of them running, or floating around. But the thing is, when a bolt dies we're going to set it equal to zero. We want to reuse them so that you... The only way you'd ever have 500, for example, is if there were 500 on the screen that had not collided with, it, with anything and vanished yet. So what we need to do is make a loop here to look for an empty one. We're going to say 4z equals 1, 2 bolts. Next z, we're going to say if b... or yeah, if bolt, sorry, if bolt equals zero, then um, go to one. And I put a, a label for one, so this, if it finds one that's equal to zero, it's going to jump us here to one. Now, in, if that's the case, z, um, the value of z is is the index of that bolt that we are going to use. So, uh, so that's convenient. So then we could say bolt z equals 1, because it's the hero. Oh, but uh, before I get ahead of myself. So if it finds a bolt that's blank, it's going to jump us here. If it does not find one and it finishes the loop of bolts, it's going to increase the number of bolts, and it's going to say, which uh, I already had a line here, z equals bolts. The reason we're going to do that is so that all the code here on Z is the index of the one we're going to use, whether it be an existing one that had been used up, or if it's a new one that was created. So we say bolt equals 1 because it's for the hero. The direction equals the direction of our guy. I mean, it should it'd be very difficult to fire a bolt to the left if you're facing the right. Um, so that's easy. We say um, filling in the bolt A and B seems simple enough, right? But the Bolt B is the better one. We're going to say Bolt B. Actually, you know what? Here we go. Bolt A equals A and Bolt B equals B. Okay, we're going to do that, but we've got to do the shifting. So we've got that. Now we've got to do the shifting. So we say if um, if D equals 1, so that's to the left, then we need to add, or, well, subtract a couple, I don't know, maybe like 10 pixels from the left, because if, if we look at our guy here, you know, if he's facing the left over here, and this is the edge of him, we want to move over a couple pixels before we make the laser. So we'll say that BA2 equals A2 minus 10. Hopefully that makes some sense. So we're taking into account where's our guy shifted. The shifting of the laser blast is going to be the shifting of the guy, and we're going to move an additional 10 pixels to the left because he's facing that direction. So we say if D equals 2... I have somewhere in here, I know I have code that says a D equals zero. Apparently we never used zero, we used one and two. Where do I have that? I gotta find it. So that's, a, that's definitely a typo somewhere. 
D equaling zero. Yep. Look at that. To the right is what? D two is right, one is left. So whoops. I did not mean to cut that out. Two and one two and one. Because I know I had pasted that section. Alright, well that was a typo from a while ago. So if D equals two, then B A two equals A two plus ten. I no, you know, we gotta go a little farther than that. So here's the thing. We're always keeping track of the guys from the top left corner. So if he's facing the left and we start here, we're gonna move about ten pixels over and draw our laser, right? That's this guy. So we have that. Oh, and that reminds me, I need an animation. Um, okay, I'll have to add that. Well, if the guy's facing this direction, if we add 10, it puts the laser bolt like right here. We need to move it a little farther over. The guy's approximately 40, well, the whole tile is 40 pixels wide, which means the guy is pretty close to 40 pixels wide. I'm thinking we should just say 40. Just move it the whole way over. See how that does. Um, then we need to do the same kind of um, checks to see if it actually means that we should be moving the A over or the B over. So we say, um, no, you know what, I'm going to leave it. Wait, should I leave it? Should I leave it? Yeah, I'm going to leave it for now. We need an animation, so I'm going to say B, A, and I equals zero. It doesn't exist yet, but I have to go make it now. Where are we at? Bolt, D, I, M, B, A, and I. Okay. Oh, this is animation value. Go back down here somewhere. Okay. So, it's created it. We've got shift, we've got everything. So, it's set. We have, we've created this bolt. We've made noise, we've created a bolt. Um, I'm just going to try running it. Sound effects working. I don't know if you can hear it. Okay. Um, actually, I can hear extra sounds. The sound effect that I used apparently has more to it. So I'm going to go to record so I can open it with old fashioned sound recorder. That's all I wanted, so it's got an extra couple seconds. I'm going to just delete after current position and save. So now it's what I wanted. Okay, something short. Now, uh, what do I do here? We need, in timer, we erase the guy. We need to also erase the bolts. So we say 4z equals 1, 2 bolts. If bolt does not equal 0, then... So in other words, if it's been destroyed, if it doesn't exist anymore, we want to get rid of it. Or we don't need to erase because it doesn't exist. Um, it's going to be sloppy. I'm, I'm not going to go through... Oh, crap, I should. Okay. We're going to draw BA and BB. So we're drawing the tile that it's on. And then we need to do this similar thing that we did before. So we say if BA2 is less than zero, then we're going to call draw tile BA minus one and BB. And let me copy this, modify it to be greater than zero, we're going to do plus one. Alright, that erases them. And I hear the timer going off, so let me save the video.